One of the stars of last night's State of Origin win has been called into the Australian Test team for Sunday's clash with New Zealand in Auckland. Fullerton Smith is one of three replacements in the side after the medicals in Sydney this morning. Les Boyd, Ray Price and Wayne Pearce were ruled unfit and Paul McCabe, Pat Jarvis and Fullerton Smith are the replacements. It's certainly going to lead to some celebrating in the Queensland town of Roma who now boast coach Arthur Beetson and Fullerton Smith in the Australian Test side. Something I... Uh never thought of uh, actually getting there at the present time you know and uh, it's, uh, it's a great thing I suppose you know I still can't believe it I think it's hit me yet. Many will see Boyd's withdrawal as justice after last night's great Queensland win was marred by the broken jaw suffered by Queensland prop forward Darrell Broman. Broman was a dejected figure when he arrived in Sydney this morning. You know, I, I sort of, uh, I didn't really see it coming to tell you the truth and uh, you know, I sort of just was on the ground before I knew anything so, uh, you know, I haven't seen it on video. Today in Brisbane, Australian Rugby League Committee member and Broman's Penrith Club Secretary Charlie Gibson instigated action over last night's incident. The Penrith Club are taking action, they're right into the New South Wales Rugby League. There is a clause in the um, Constitution to state that the welfare interest of the game such forth, and I think it's clause 22, and the Penrith Club have reported this to the New South Wales Rugby League and it's up to the New South Wales Rugby League to view the film, and then whatever action they take, the Penrith Club will be very happy with. But nothing could take away from the Queensland win. And today, even the Sydney press has hailed Wally Lewis as the greatest rugby league player in the world after his man of the match performance last night. Fifth tackle, Queensland, watch for the bomb. Oh, they're going to go from there and they're in. Oh, it's so easy. Wally Lewis has gone underneath for another try. Queensland in from dummy half through Wally Lewis. And look at the crowd. He's a class above them, this kid. He's thinking well ahead of them. A fantastic player. There will be a special profile on Wally Lewis in Today Tonight on Channel 9 at 6.30. And while our rugby league players are world champions, our cricketers look like facing an uphill battle in the Prudential World Cup in England. In a warm-up match, the Australians were beaten by New Zealand. New Zealand's Wally Lewis led the way by example, scoring two of their three tries, and they now have a 5-1 winning record over New South Wales in state of origin matches. The Queenslanders believe their increased representation in the Australian team is well deserved, and that the late inclusion of Wally Fullerton Smith in particular is simply a case of justice being done. You know, I'm sure they're going to be very happy with their inclusion in the side now, and you know, whilst they weren't in the side originally, it's certainly you know not going to make much difference. They'll be there. They'll have an Australian jersey to wear. Wally, what? behind the current high that rugby league is on in Queensland? Probably uh, a feeling of sick and tired of getting thrashed up there. You know, I started out <laughs> in about 79 and we used to get beaten by about 30 or 40 points and you just get sick of it. Queensland coach Arthur Beetson is obviously delighted and determined to carry his success over into his new Australian coaching role. But he was quick to point out today that the Kiwis this time will be a tougher proposition than they have been in recent years. It's a completely new concept, isn't it? Uh, you've got the scientists in there, uh, Mark Broadhurst. They've got a very strong pack there. They've got some quite good players who've played over in English conditions. Uh, they, they hold a deep desire to beat Australia. I know Graham Lowe's been working on this for four months and uh, I expect it to, to be a really hard match. Meantime, Penrith Rugby League boss Charlie Gibson has asked the New South Wales League to view videotape of this incident during last night's match. The Panthers prop Darryl...